Hi. So, we had an epic session yesterday in about 5 knots gusting 8. Now, typically when you say we can go foiling in next to no wind, you kind of mean, you know, those 9, 11 knots where being on a twin tip, no matter what twin tip it is, no matter what kite it is, isn't fun. But being on a foil means you're still cruising at 40 clicks per hour, pissing yourself slightly when you go a little bit faster than you expected. Yesterday the forecast looked pretty good, but then when we got there it was about maybe 5 gusting 8 knots tops. So it's one of those days when you turn up to the beach and there's not enough wind, but you think to yourself, well, since I'm in a wetsuit anyway, let's give it a go. And it's been ace. I mean, hydrofoils are definitely the game changers. And the fact that you can go out kiting and on the days where you would normally have to sit it out, um, it just kind of saves your whole day. We've tested so much kit over the last three years. You know, we went through all the Cabrinha setups, or the Nash setups, we've got Moses right now on demo as well. Um, and pretty much every single foil we used gave us the option to go kiting when everybody else's kites are not even getting in the air. And especially stuff like, you know, the 14 meter uh, Nash Boxer, the 15 meter Contra, which is probably one of the best inflatable lightwind kites. And we had a 15 meter sole out yesterday and the wind that wasn't really there, which is surprising because then you look at your Strava and you've got 30 clicks per hour recorded on this in totally glossy conditions. Uh, we've even managed, well, we haven't, Archie managed to drop it in the water when we were trying to get this really nice panning shot of him with a kite, you know, floating just above the water. It kind of floated above the water and it collapsed because it touched the water. But we managed to get it back in the air, which you'll see in the video in a second. It's so surprising that, you know, we got to a stage where you can go kiting in the days where you would normally have to sit them out. Twin tips just don't work if it's under 11, 12 knots. It's just not fun. Mowing the lawn on a twin tip and going on a full whack on the foil are two totally different things. And once you get in the foiling, it just changes your whole perspective on the forecasts. You get this little tingling sensation about an eight knots gusting 10, where, you know, in the, in the past you would go like, oh crap, this is another wasted day. It's been absolutely epic yesterday. Bad, 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 bad. Enjoying this so much. <laughs> but we just got a chat about this guy never falling out of the sky. thing um that here that wasn't supposed to happen actually i'm really really sorry for going so close i was pretty much sure i'm gonna take your balls off given that this was recorded on the gopro on the ultra wide setting um yeah that that wasn't the plan uh, uh, yeah as a disclosure no archies were harmed in making this video i'll see you next time <laughs> 